If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Um, today we have Lissandro Martinez to check out. Um, has some pretty good play styles to be fair, right? Uh, Bruiser plus, slide tackle plus, jockey plus with an intercept plus. Let's be real. The most important thing is always the intercept plus. Um, play styles in game. It's good that they gave him an aerial because his height would present to be a problem if they did not give that. Honestly, I would have told you straight up like, guys, if he doesn't have aerial, like, I don't know, dude. Because honestly, like the, the crossing meta is just so crazy that if your players cannot jump, especially in his case, he's a five foot ten. Uh, it's important to have. So they did give him all the good play styles. He doesn't have anticipate, but in regards to obvious, you know, overall improvements, he could be really nice in the future. Uh, this is a card that for now, in my opinion, is formatted for a shadow because I don't think he's a lengthy player. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think he's a lengthy player. Let me see. Lissandro Martinez. Okay, so yeah, definitely not a lengthy player. So Shadow is a must in my honest opinion. I think you need to increase his sprint speed to be as high as possible. Will some people give him an anchor? Sure, but the anchor would have been fine if he was a lengthy, right? At this point in the game, players are very, very fast. Um, and I think it'd be ideal to kind of improve the pace in the card. Um, it's just center back, but like that's the only position that he has, right? So yeah, center back. So this is more for the... Man United fans with good passing as well. He actually has passing play styles, which is a W. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah, with the overall improvements could be nice. Five-star, five-star would obviously be really good too if they win the semifinal. Yeah, the semifinal win would definitely be really nice for them for sure. And winning the overall upgrades as well would be good too. Because in the future... No, you might not be able to. I don't think the overall improvements would improve the defending to be that high. So you'd probably still give him a... I think you'd probably still give him a, an anchor maybe in the future. Like, that's the only viable option, I would say. Like, you could potentially give him an engine, but it def depends on where they put the defensive stats. Could you technically switch this card to the CDM position? You can. If you just start your team in a five-back formation and then rotate him there, you could totally do that too. So it just depends on how you... Um, on how you format your team, but uh, we are going to be using him in the defensive positions. Obviously, he is left footed, so I'll put him on the left hand side and um, yeah, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he is a base. Leg round switch. Okay, this gameplay is rough, but we're good. We're good. The block there, we'll take that. Oh, didn't get to that. You know, it's funny, man. So, uh, at the end of the day, like, height is always going to be important, right? You never know if you actually, if you have a taller player, if you actually get to that, right? With the reach and stuff. That was a pass. That wasn't a clearing, so I wouldn't judge the jumping too much on that one. Guys, listen, man, they're defending this game for manual stuff, like just to switch to people. But obviously couldn't get the ball afterwards with Lissandro there once we were really out of position. And he almost scores an absolute banger. Okay, Lissandro, you're supposed to just receive the ball, but yeah, we can give it back to them, no problem.
Oh, the first one doesn't work. The second one has to, bruh. There you go, good block. To block the general vicinity. That we test out the left stick dribbling with him there. It, it took him a while to do that one touch that I wanted, though, I will say. It was a little weird. Oh, please. Why do you guys, why do you do this to me, bro? Just get the ball, man. My boy Sokka, look at my boy Sokka. Let's see, I wish that was consistent, but I love this card. Okay. I do be the defending. Uh, I couldn't get that reach there. I'm the typical meta goal. You better get to that. What is this game without Intercept Plus, man? I'm telling you, for those same meta goals all the time. You better get to that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's rely on the AI there, man. I it's it's hard to like switch right now. Very hard to switch and like actually move properly. See, I have to be careful with that left stick with him. Oh, it actually it actually magnetized there. That's crazy. Hold the position there. Leg round switch. Thank goodness for that. Well, thank goodness for that. Uh, strength might be something you have to improve. Well, the thing is, right, is that by default, this is a card that uh, requires the upgrades. I would not use him right now. Definitely not. Um, it's a card that you want to get upgrades on, and then you can give an anchor to or something like that, right? Or like his base card stats for or physical stuff is like improved. So you don't have to worry about uh, not having that because it, it does work hand in hand with the bruiser, right? So you have to be very mindful of that. Oh, there goes a review for this one. Uh, okay, guys. So final verdict on the uh, Lissandra Martinez card. Uh, this is a card you have to kind of wait for the upgrades for, like, uh, <laughs> in my opinion. So, excuse me. My throat's still a little bit messed up. But a couple things to mention, okay? Uh, this card is supposed to be formatted for the anchor, but he's supposed to be formatted with the anchor with upgrades. That's the key thing that I have to mention. Um, I would not use him on an anchor right now because... That pace without a lengthy in this game right now with these the players that currently exist, it's just not going to be enough in certain situations. Um, with the upgrades in the future, 
right? He could be pretty decent to use. I will always tell you guys that when it comes to defenders, you want to try to go as full meta as possible. I would spend literally all your money on the defenders more than the attackers, to be honest with you, uh, because they are such an integral part, right? Like, especially if your gameplay does not respond well, you need, you know, the right players to be able to, like, move properly, like, left and right and all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, with Lissandra Martinez, there's definitely, like, a lot of potential, right? Like, he could be a really cool, agile type of center back in the future um, because he definitely feels like he has those sort of characteristics. But, yeah, it's just one of those types of situations where, like, you just need him to... Uh, to get those overall boosts right at, like right now especially it's just it's just what you would have to do right um as an spc for 93k if you're going for absolute full meta the things that you know he goes away from is obviously going to be in height and more physical presence physical presence has to do with height and body type right so obviously you know a lot of times you guys see me do the reviews and again, these are expensive cards. I'm not saying that they're not, but this is kind of what you have to do nowadays. But like the Ruben Diaz type, right? Six foot two while working with a, cer a certain body type, like meta wise, especially near the end game, that's what you want, right? So it's definitely more of a sentimental card that could turn into a beast because you guys know that when EA drops upgrades for these guys, sometimes they give them the special sauce. But I just feel like meta wise, it's always going to be better to have a lengthy player that's taller. That's just going to be the ideal thing every single time, especially since these guys... You know, you have to understand, like, the, the current meta, like, these guys have maximized pace, like, especially Ruben Diaz, right? Shadow chemistry style. Uh, he's maximizing all the important stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it really, really adds these types of cards. Like, I know that the price difference is obviously huge, but at this point in the game, it's just kind of like what you need to be able to consistently perform. So, yeah, definitely more sentimental. But if he gets the improvements in the future, 93K could end up being a pretty decent price if EA, you know, special sauces him up, you know, it's just one of those types of situations. But yeah, as of right now, like I was using him and I was like, I feel like I got to give him the shadow, but then I got to give him the anchor because the anchor, you know, I need the pace to work with the strength. The strength is necessary to be able to utilize the bruiser and stuff too. But even still, he's still smaller at five foot 10. And again, that will always stray away from the meta of the game, right? So, um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I do have a Ronaldo video. And honestly, I did this review which was like a more boring one. But since we had Ronaldo, I was like, why not? Right. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.